Hello there, and welcome to the Sugar by Half live Facebook event here at the Sydney Facebook headquarters. My name is Renee Leith Manos, and I'm here with the fantastic Matt Hopcraft from MasterChef and Dentist to talk all about breakfast. How can we lower our sugar levels at breakfast? Yeah, well, I mean, I think sugar's a really big problem. Um, obviously, from a dental perspective, we know that tooth decay is a big problem. One in two kids by the age of six have tooth decay. By the age of 12, they're getting tooth decay even more so. So those rates are increasing, and, and breakfast is just one area, I think, where we can look to see how we can get people to cut down their sugar. So I'm going to make you what I make for breakfast for myself and for at least one of my kids. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the other things that are out there in terms of sugar as well. So maybe, Renee, while uh, I start doing Just tell us what are you making here. today? So well, frittata, I'm, I'm just going to make a little frittata. I mean, Beautiful. it's nice and healthy. It's got no yeah. sugar. Um, you know, eggs, whatever veggies and uh, other things that you want to put in there. Cheese, if you've got some cheese. Because one um, of the focuses, if you want to cut your sugar, one of the most obvious things to do is to focus on real food rather than processed food, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So, so right here is this up and go, which I really want to ask you about. Because when I was in the corporate world, you know, I would race to work. I'd be so busy. And I thought this was like three wheat bix in a bottle with milk, so really easy and really healthy. What's your take on up and go? Yeah, well, I mean, something like nine teaspoons of sugar in nine. this. Nine. Yeah. So people... And the World Health Organization says we should ideally be having about six a day. Six, six a so day. You're so you're kicking off your day with nine before you've had any drinks or anything else with it. This has got you over the limit. And people say, look, it's it's easy, it's it's well, it you know, convenient, but it doesn't take you long. And I mean, the point of this is to just show you that if you're a little bit organised, you can make yourself a healthy breakfast. And I do this every Every morning I wake up, I've got to get a couple of kids ready for school um, and I can I can get up and within you know 10 minutes or so I can have something made for them. And look, you could make this the night before or even a tray on a Sunday, yeah? You absolutely, you absolutely and cut it into squares you know, and take that for breakfast if you're busy and... Make it into a muffin tin, have a little individual serves, you can take it out, you could throw it in the lunchbox for the kids rather yes. than having it for breakfast if lunch you really Lunchboxes are another to. really big issue. I've got uh, twins who are nine. And just getting those lunchboxes organised and healthy is really hard. It is, it is a real challenge. Have you got any other suggestions for the lunchbox? The frittata's one. Well, I mean, I think, you know, anything that's anything that's fresh. So fresh fruit, fresh veggies, I think is always really good. Um, and, you know, popcorn? Things, popcorn, I think as long as we, you know, we're not caramelised popcorn. No, no, which, no. no. Uh, which we air, want to stay clear pops, of. Yeah, that's the best yeah. one. Um, you know, like when we look, it's not just the things like the up and go. So, you know, you've got a bowl of cereal there. Yeah, so we've got neutral grain um, here. Now, how many grams would this be? About 100, say? Uh, I think there's probably about 60 or 70 grams of neutral grain in there. I think that's what the average teenage kid is probably going to fill their bowl of I can smell <laughs> can the sugar. Smell the sugar. I mean, this is like lollies to me. I don't actually eat cereal, but um, I know people who eat cereal for dinner and for lunch and for breakfast because it's cheap, it's easy, and it tastes great. Yeah, I mean, but it I tastes can, great because it's full of sugar, right? I can see the tooth decay just happening as you're looking at that bowl. It's kind of... It's, it's May Ling over here, one of our fantastic researchers and doctors and multi-skilled, had this amazing list before of the cereals that Australians eat. And what topped the, the list with the most sugar was crunchy Kellogg's, crunchy nut cornflakes with how many teaspoons of sugar? Coles. Oh, sorry? Coles, crunchy nut. Sorry, Coles. Honey nut. Honey nut. Um, takes out the top fries with ten and a half teaspoons of sugar for every hundred grams. So that's 42% sugar. <laughs> Almost half sugar in your bowl of cereal. Correct. Wow. Number two is Woolies. Woolies? Same version. Can you imagine if someone's having this with those with that cereal? That's it's no wonder we have an obesity problem in this country. Oh, it's frightening. Um, it and, is. you know, people people are just consuming mm. way too much sugar. And, and one of the things that I've done um, is to really cut down a lot on the sugar that I'm eating. So I, you know, I change my breakfast. Um, from, you know, muesli and yoghurt. Yoghurt's another, another problem. So, you know, just a little fruit flavoured yoghurts and everyone thinks this is really healthy, but 22 grams of sugar uh, in a serving like that. What about all natural yoghurt, like the Greek yoghurt with no flavouring? Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, the, the, the natural yoghurts uh, with no added sugar, I think they're fantastic. So maybe cut some natural fruits and banana into that for the kids yep. for breakfast? Abs absolutely, absolutely. That's okay. Um, and I think these sort of things will make a lot of difference. Oh, oh we've got a question. We've got a question. Ooh, please send me your question. Send us anything. Um, <laughs> um, a question about is fruit okay? Loaded question. Well, we're talking about added sugars. The big problem, as Dr. Bruckner said in an earlier video segment, are added sugars. So fruit is natural sugar, correct? Yeah, fruit, What's natural sugar. And I mean, obviously we're going to get we're going to get the vitamins. We're going to get the benefit from that. There's fibre. So when you're digesting um, whole fruit, then I think that that's fine. Obviously, we don't want to go overboard. As with everything, we don't want to go overboard. Um, and there are some fruits that are better than others, yeah, right? I mean, there's a range of, of different fruits out there. And so, you know, a little bit of its personal preference too. And certainly for the kids, it's about trying to 
to get them to eat things that they enjoy. Yes. Um, and, and that healthy, non-processed, real food. Real Have you food. got tips to encourage children to eat healthier foods? Because I know that I find it a real challenge as a mum. Um, my son, love you Mason, is crazy about sugar. And I just, I keep trying to get him to eat healthier foods and it's really difficult. My daughter's the opposite, she's the cucumber girl. But how, how do you, how can you encourage your children to eat, eat more healthy foods? If I had tips <laughs> for kids to eat healthy food all the time, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Um, you know, I, I struggle. I struggle. But yes. it's, I think a lot of it is, well, I think two things. I think one is giving them that variety all of the time. So having yes. the food that's, that's there, exposing them exposing to, them to yeah. it. And the other thing I think for me that's really important, and one of the reasons that um, you know, I went on MasterChef and one of the things that's come out of that is getting your kids to cook, encouraging yes. your kids to be involved I in the cooking process so that they don't think that breakfast comes out of a box and yes. that it's as simple as walking to the pantry, grabbing something and, and serving it up. That it's something that you know that you can have fun doing, yes. um, and that you get some enjoyment out of doing that. And uh, you know, at least one of my kids really loves cooking. God bless you, Emily. Uh, and Lachlan is getting into it as well, and they when, really enjoy. When did you start cooking? How old were you? Oh, look, Mum probably had me in the kitchen from a very young age. Um, yeah. Mostly, it was around licking the beaters and you know cleaning still, out the, the bowl. Still, you're in there. And... Yeah, and I think that's the sort of thing that, that we should all be doing: encouraging our kids to cook and it's, encouraging our men to cook. And encouraging our men to cook. A man who cooks. Um, I like it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we've got. Oh, we've got another question. Another question. I don't want you to burn your frittata, but we've got we've got a question here from Sid because he's seen you hold up the protein with a shake. Who's the question? Who's the question? Okay, so we have um, Sid out Verma from Melbourne. Question about protein shakes. How much sugar do they have and are they a healthy alternative? Well, there's another loaded question. Do you want to start? <laughs> well, uh, look, I don't know specifically about protein shakes, but I know a lot of people are obviously down at the gym and they're working yes. out um, and trying to supplement their, their energy Huge and, and by treat. protein. I mean, here in Sydney, um, there isn't a person in the eastern <laughs> suburbs without a protein shake in their cupboard. Guaranteed. Obviously, really. obviously, I spend a lot of time at the gym, as you can tell. <laughs> um, so I'm not really sure what's in the, what's in the protein shakes. My, my suggestion with all of these foodstuffs is... Look at look at what you're look at what you're eating. Look at what you're consuming. Have a look at that label, yes. and you know learn how to read labels. I think that's one of the really key things for us. We're going to have a segment a little bit later, absolutely, explaining how to read the labels. But certainly, I mean, I'm a triathlete. I competed for Australia last year in my age group. So protein shakes are definitely a part of my life. But I have diabetes, so I have to really watch the sugar in them. And all I can say to our friend in Melbourne who sent in the question is read the labels, and it's the carbohydrate and sugar level. And ask your doctor, ask your nutritionist. Do not walk into a health food shop and just buy the cheapest one and think that will work, really get educated and work out which one's the best for you. Yeah, absolutely. But, but a great question because, I yes. mean, obviously that's, you know, being aware of the sorts of things that, that you're eating, uh, looking at those labels and then trying to make really healthy choices. Definitely. How's that frittata going? Oh, I'm it, dying it, to it's try this. It's, this, this, is, this, is, this is one of those challenges cooking of kind of run. cooking on live TV uh, with uh, slightly unfamiliar ingredients. Did this sort of stuff or, happen uh, on MasterChef? Did a lot of things oh, no. go wrong that we didn't see? Yeah, usually what happened on MasterChef was that I'd burn this and then I'd get in <laughs> trouble from the judges, right. uh, and then I'd nearly get kicked off the show. But, they didn't um, refilm the segments and no, let you they, have another well, go? I can't, I can't oh, divulge the, the, the secrets. Oh, I had to sign a contract but, with Liz, so in other words, yes. But <laughs> effectively, no. Um, right. it, was all, it was all one take and all, uh, all filmed Was that a great it experience? Was. It was a fantastic experience. I learned, you know, obviously learned a lot about, uh, about cooking um, and, you know, about sort of, you know, enjoying, enjoying healthy food. Uh, and having that fun smells in fantastic. the kitchen. That fantastic. Look at that. So. Wow. There we go. That's good. Now, can I try some? Let me just. Can taste well, this or what? I'll get you a clean, a clean All right. Have we got one? <laughs> I should have done a little bit of a here's one we prepared earlier. And you've even... got the avocado here too. Now, that's a really great thing for breakfast on a multi-grain like, toast. I'll throw a bit of avocado on. Okay. I'll throw some yep. smoked salmon on. I'll throw some yep. goat cheese on. All sorts of things yes. like that, I think, are, are really nutritious. So, there you go. I'll let you have a go awesome. at that Awesome. We're going to try this. Now, don't forget to like our um, Facebook page, to jump onto our website, sugarbyhalf.com.au, and sign up. And I think we've got another question. Because we want you to... There's no AU. Because we want you to be a part of our, um, our Sugar by Half community. Because we're doing lots of exciting things, including tasting this frittata <laughs> cooked for me by Matt Hopcraft. How lucky can a girl get? Mmm! Amazing! Mm. That is really, really beautiful. What cheese did you use? Uh, it's just some parmesan. Mm. Excellent. All right, we're going to go. Fantastic to, um, to have you here. Thank, Thank you so you. much Thanks, for Ryan. your support for the movement. Absolutely. And if you want to ask Matt questions, you can send them in because he's around here at Facebook Live headquarters for the next hour and a half, and he would love to hear your questions. I cannot wait to meet the next person, Jeremy Layla from The Swans! <laughs>